Hello children. Hope you all are fit and fine. Welcome to your English grammar class. And today we are going to cover up a very important chapter of grammar that is adjectives. So without wasting our time, let's begin with today's English class. An adjective is a word that adds something to the meaning of a noun or a pronoun. That means it describes a noun or a pronoun. It tells us something more about a noun and a pronoun. I would like to draw your attention towards the pictures that are visible on your screen. This is a picture of a boy. You can also notice that few highlighted words in green color are given below the pictures like tall, fat, happy, angry, which further describes about a few qualities of this boy. In the sentence, this is a boy, the noun boy does not give an idea of the kind of boy. The adjectives tall, fat, happy or angry give an idea of the quality of the boy. An adjective describes a noun or pronoun. It qualifies a noun or pronoun and it makes it more meaningful. The use of adjectives give more information about a noun or a pronoun. It makes a sentence more meaningful and easy to understand. It gives more clarity to a sentence and therefore adjectives play a very important role in English grammar. So children, an adjective is a word that qualifies or modifies a noun. Why do we say it qualifies or modifies a noun? Because it helps us to know what kind of how many, which one, how much. So it satisfies all the queries related to a noun or a pronoun and therefore we say that it qualifies or modifies a noun. Adjectives are called describing words. An adjective gives clarity to a sentence. It is used to describe the noun that is person, place, animal or thing and pronouns in a sentence. It also indicates the number, quality, size, shape and feelings etc. of a noun or a pronoun. And definitely it also answers a few questions related to a noun or a pronoun. For example, what kind, how many, which one, how much, all these. Therefore, an adjective always adds more meaning to a noun or a pronoun. So children adjectives are describing words. They tell us the quality of a noun or a pronoun. For example tall boy, beautiful scene, strong building, strict teacher, loving parents. So the words tall, beautiful, strong, strict, loving are a few adjectives. Now let us see the different kinds of adjective. Adjective of quality. As the name itself indicates, it describes the quality of a noun or a pronoun. For example, rich man, poor beggar, nice lady, big tree. In all these words, rich, poor, nice, big tells us what kind of a noun. For example, what kind of a man? Rich man. What kind of a beggar? Poor beggar. What kind of a lady? Nice lady. What kind of a tree? Big tree. So these words give some more meaning or give some more description of a noun. Adjective of quantity. It tells us the amount of a noun or uncountable nouns. For example, some tea, little sugar, a lot of noise, enough money. Now here, some, little, a lot of and enough. All these are the adjectives of quantity. Then comes adjective of numbers. It indicates the number of nouns countables. For example, 35 students, many books, several questions, few boys. Now, these words 35, many, several and few, these are known as the adjectives of number. Interrogative adjectives. It is used to ask questions about nouns or pronouns and the verb words that is what, which, whose are all considered to be interrogative adjectives. They ask 
they are used to ask question about a noun for example which book is yours what color is your coat whose dog is that a few examples so what subject which country whose pen etc a few more examples of interrogative adjectives demonstrative adjectives it is used to point out some person or a thing so it demonstrates or points out a noun this book that tree such mistake this that these those are known as demonstrative adjectives this that is used with singular nouns whereas these and those with plural nouns possessive adjectives possessive adjectives shows possession or belongingness of a noun or a pronoun for example her bag your name so here her your ours theirs his its my mine all these are possessive adjectives distributive adjectives it is used to indicate each of a noun for example each student all boys every teacher so it is basically used to indicate each noun or pronoun emphasizing adjectives as the name itself shows it emphasizes or put pressure on a noun or a pronoun own umbrella very question so this was all about different kinds of children let us now uh, discuss the degree of comparisons the there are three forms to show comparison the adjective changes in the form to its form to show comparison these forms are called degree of comparisons there are three degree of comparisons first is the positive degree of an adjective it is the simplest form of adjective and no comparison is made in positive degree for example a sweet girl a muddy field a beautiful rose next is the comparative degree the comparative degree is used when we compare two people or thing we add er to most adjectives to form their comparative degree however for longer words we write more before the adjective for example a sweeter girl a muddier field a more beautiful rose another is the superlative degree is the highest degree of quality it is used when we compare more than two people or things and it is formed by adding est to the adjective or writing most before the adjective for example the sweetest girl the muddiest field and the most beautiful rose so these are the three degree of comparisons that are basically used to explain the importance or the quality of a noun and basically used for comparison when we talk about degree of comparisons there are a few things we need to keep it in mind the degree of some adjectives can be changed by adding er or est without changing their spellings for example tall taller tallest small smaller smallest if the adjective ends in e that means if the last letter of a word is e drop the e and add er or est for example large larger largest safe safer safest if the adjective ends in y and there is a consonant before y the y changes to i before adding er or est for example the word heavy the last letter of the word heavy is y and the letter before y is v which is a consonant so therefore in this case we will drop the y and in place of the y we will write i and er for example heavy heavier heaviest similarly easy easier easiest in some adjectives the last letter is doubled before adding er or est it like big bigger biggest thin thinner thinnest the comparative degree of adjectives of two syllables or more is formed by adding more 
and their superlative degree is formed by adding most example honest more honest most honest similarly beautiful more beautiful most beautiful the positive comparative and superlative degree of some adjectives are completely different from each other for example good better best bad worse worst little less least so children this was all about adjectives i hope by practicing the grammar exercises given in your book this concept of adjectives will be more clear to you thank you for your kind attention